I'm Noam Wasserman, and I'm a professor at Harvard Business School. To the extent that we can take these first-time founders and educate them about the road ahead, that is where we're going to be able to make them far more armed for all of the challenges that they're going to be facing as they go out to conquer the world. One of the key things that we push them to do in the book is to step back and be able to think first before they make that leap. There are three particular arenas that are important to assess. The first is the career side, so your preparation, the skills, the industry knowledge, the connections, the social capital that you're bringing to the table. Do I know all of the people within this industry or the key players that I'm going to need resources from? Am I going to go and do this alone? Or am I going to try to attract at least one co-founder to come and do it with me? The second one is on the market side. Is this an idea that the market really needs? Is there a real pain that I am solving? Is there a willingness to pay to solve that pain for the people who are my potential customers? Also, is this something where there's a ticking clock, where I really have to go and move quickly to be able to pursue that opportunity? One of the key things that gets in the way of founders is their passion for the idea. They can fall in love with the sexiness of the technology. They are sure that this is something that the world is going to want. They don't step back to make sure that that passion is not turning into a blind spot for them. The third arena is being able to understand my life stage, my circumstances. Am I single with no dependents? Or am I married with a bunch of dependents and a lifestyle that I'm not going to be able to cut back without harming the people who are dependent on me? At the level of the startup, when founders are first heading into it, they often don't understand, don't realize when they are making an early momentous decision that is going to lead to things down the road that they are not being able to anticipate right now. A lot of times, even if they understand that they are at one of those points, that fork in the road, they don't understand the range of options that are open to them. One of the key goals in my book is being able to paint that path ahead, all of the pitfalls that you're going to be facing, but that if you can understand what they are, you can make those better decisions early on that will enable you to avoid them. When the light bulb goes off and the founder is wanting to make that leap, if you can look at the career circumstances, the market circumstances, and the personal circumstances, and then being able to isolate which of these is missing right now and proactively start putting that in place, then by all means, go make the leap, pursue that passion. This is the right time for you to go off and do it.